Yeah, Mrs. George Burns is here to see you. Mrs. George Burns? I've heard her husband sing, and I'm not going to pardon him. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is New Television City. Oh, well, let her come in. Yes, sir. Right in, Mrs. Burns. Miss Burns, how do you do? Governor Warren. Is it all right for me to call you Governor? Of course. All right. And you can call me Gracie. All right, Gracie. How's your husband? Fine. How's the governor? <laughs> oh, good. You know, I think we better get started. Well, Gracie, will you wait just a moment till I check up on this part of my speech? Right. Please, I want to make sure that it's, it's all right. Four important milestones were passed in the history of television this year. First of all, television network facilities have grown tremendously. Second, the FCC lifting of the freeze on the new television stations has opened the door to the full growth of television. Third, television has given you an example of its fantastic potential as a great mass communication medium during the political conventions. And fourth, a building exclusively designed for this medium now opens its doors. Facilities like Television City will help immeasurably, I'm sure, in making this medium one of the greatest mass communication tools we have ever known. I believe that CBS Television is to be congratulated for its vision and its courage. Now, let me see. I I'd just like to add a little something to that. Uh, All right. And while you're doing it, I wish you'd add something about taxes. <laughs> and what about them? What about them? Oh, what do you do with all the money we pay in taxes? Well, I, I can explain that. A part of the tax dollar goes to building highways and schools and hospitals. A part of it goes to running our courts and and uh, the rest of the tax dollar goes to paying the salaries of the governor and the state senators and the assemblymen and so on. Mm-hmm, I thought so. Look, if you can do all that with one dollar, who gets the rest of the million? <laughs> Gracie, I'll look that up for you. Yes. And another thing, if we pay your salary and all the others, then we're supporting you, aren't we? Yes. Then why can't we list you as dependents and deduct you? <laughs> I'll look that up, too. Uh, um, listen, uh, uh, Governor, um, tell me, do the, uh, do the Democrats have to pay part of your salary, too? Oh, yes. Uh, they're certainly rubbing it in, isn't it? <laughs> Casey, uh, uh, don't you think that it, you ought to write a letter to Washington uh, that's, that's uh, Washington, D.C., not to George. Oh. Well, uh, yes, I, I'm going to write him a letter and tell him about the senators you're sending there and the way they drink. They drink? Oh, yes. I read that Senator Nolan tried to make a speech from the floor. <laughs> oh, Gracie, you don't understand. Oh, I don't. And the Speaker of the House was even in a worse condition. Why, it said that he didn't recognize Senator Nolan. <laughs> hey, Gracie, when you write that letter, will you let me mail it for you? Of course. Well, suppose you write it right now. Oh, now you right. write it. You write it right here. Right here in your right, chair? Right here, oh, yes. yes. You right. just write it right there. <laughs>